this video we'll show you how to create some basic watercolor washes and easy techniques since food coloring works really similarly to them. There are different types of watercolor paper. For this exercise, I will be using the Canson watercolor paper pad. Grab several watercolor brushes and remember to have a palette, a container with clean water, and a paper towel nearby. First, you want to create a wash. For this, you want to get your color wet and mix your brush so that it picks up the pigment. Transfer it over to your palette so you can see it and work with it better. You can keep adding pigment to make it darker or more water to make it lighter. We'll start by creating a flat wash. The key is to create an even layer of color all the way through. So the first technique is a wet, flat wash. You get a clean brush, dip it in water, and wet a section of your paper, like in a little square. Then you load your brush, meaning deep the brush into your watercolor wash you created and let the brush absorb it. And you paint on top of the wet section on your paper. The ideal is to start at the top and work your way down, trying to keep it even. Next, a dry flat wash. You will do the same, but this time you will not wet your paper. You will start at the top and work your way down, trying to keep it even. You can do a two color wash by adding a dry wash with your two colors at the top and bottom, and then mixing or overlaying in the middle. You can also do a wet two color wash by first wetting your paper and then adding your two colors on each end and letting the color bloom and mix organically in the middle. For a wet on dry, you will do a flat wash and let it dry thoroughly. While you wait, do a second wash but before it dries, you will add some lines, dots, and colors. The freshly applied paint will bleed and bloom into the base layer. Dry brush marks are a great way to add texture to a scene, like sparkle on waves of the sea, rough bark on a tree, texture on a road surface, etc. The key is to have enough pigment on your brush to create the texture but dry enough to where the bristles are separated. Next, do a flat wash and then lift the pigment with a paper towel or a dry brush. This is a good way to try and fix small mistakes when your watercolors go wet or to create soft layers like clouds. Now go back to your dry flat wash and paint on it. The lines will be really clear and defined. Finally, paint a flat wash. Let it dry a tiny bit. Get a second color ready and place it at the bottom until it meets the first and blends. In the section where the two colors meet, they should blend in a controlled way, ideally creating a third color. <music> 